first. Fire season rearing its ugly head again this week, and it's caused a heavier than normal workload for firefighters across the state. Multiple fires igniting over western and central Montana, including a major wildfire burning near Cody, Wyoming. All that work can take a toll on fire crews trying to put out those flames. MTN's Carson Vicroy has more on how fire agencies cope with fighting multiple fires in a season. In the Gallatin Valley, fire departments rely on volunteers, especially for an active day like yesterday. Um, agencies such as Big Sky Bozeman, Central Valley, that have paid staff as well as volunteers, um, we, did a, we did an off-duty callback yesterday. These callbacks are common and expected at this time of year for both paid and volunteer firefighters. This time of year, everybody's a little more conscious of the wildfire. Uh, response and what can happen and, and those could be extended stay events. Firefighters from across the Gallatin Valley should plan to work long hours based on how dry the fuels are, like the example I have in my hand here, but you also need to prepare for working long hours in the heat. Obviously we need to make sure we have plenty of water to take with us and stay hydrated um, and, and be conscious of, of heat exposure. Um, the, the temperature itself, the ambient temperature itself is, is hot. But of course, the fire makes it even warmer. Yesterday was just one example of why we're not out of the woods yet from these fires. We need to be cautious and, and conscious of, of what we're doing. And if you don't have to burn, please don't. Now, if a fire is big enough where federal and local sources are needed, the Natural Resource Conservation Service will help with the needed overtime for local fire departments.